gets stuck. Wait, it, it gets stuck? It gets stuck. The Cheez-Its get stuck right between the glass and the shelf. And they're not dropping, they're not moving, and my mouth goes, because I just can't believe this. So I start pounding on the machine, and I start shaking the machine. And then I remember, if the machine falls on you, you can die. So yeah, I yeah it'll, it'll crush you. Yeah, it will. So I stop shaking the machine. And then I go and I ask my buddy Joe for some money, right? And I've already asked him for money tons of times. And he says, Guy, I can't give you any more money. I, you already owe me like 300 bucks. I say, Joe, it's just a bag of Cheez-Its. You know what I'm talking about, right? Just a bag of Cheez-Its. Yeah, it's like a dollar, right? Yeah, exactly. It's just a dollar. So he says, fine. And he gives me a dollar and quarters, okay? And I'm thinking, yes, this is perfect. I needed exactly a dollar. I'm going to go back to that machine. So I walk up to the machine, and I put each of those quarters into the machine. And I'm thinking, this is going to be amazing. And then, uh, much to my surprise, the coins just drop and they fall right into the change return slot. I'm thinking, what's going on? And then I notice, I notice the machine is broken. It doesn't even have an out of order sign on it. The, the, the change is just dropping right down. It's not even accepting coins. No, it's just accepting bills, that's right. So I don't have any more bills and I can't ask Joe for any more money, it's not gonna work. So I'm ready to give up, right? And I'm just walking away. And then all of a sudden, I see behind me, this kid comes up to the machine and then he puts his dollar in and he gets two bags of Cheez-Its. What, he hit B2? He hit B2, and he gets two bags of Cheez-Its. His bag of Cheez-Its, and my bag of Cheez-Its that I paid for. Well, what would the kid do? Uh, the kid, I walk back over to the kid, right? And I say, hey, kid, that's my bag of Cheez-Its. And he says, no, no, it's not. I paid for this. And I said, I, I, I don't think you understand. You see, you paid for your bag of Cheez-Its, and you got my bag of Cheez-Its free because I already put my money in, and it didn't give it to me. And he's not buying it. He doesn't care, right? And he's saying, you're just a grumpy old man. Go away. So I lose my temper a little bit, and I start putting my hands on the kid. You know, I, I think you understand where I'm coming from, right? I'm just like, I'm grabbing the kid, and I, I'm strangling him just a little bit, to be honest. And then his mom comes around the corner, and she sees this, right? And she freaks out. She thinks I'm just some crazy cop abusing my power. So... Then, I have to explain to this woman, listen, your stupid punk kid stole my bag of cheeses. Well, it's not his, they were yours. Exactly, exactly, and I'm trying to tell her that, but she's not buying it. She's just thinking I'm crazy, and she's not listening to anything I'm saying, right? So she decides, she decides to call my boss. What, your boss? My boss. And so she's talking, she's like, one of your officers here is harassing my son and trying to steal Cheez-Its from him. And so I snatch the phone away from her, and I say, Chief, you know me. You know how much I love my Cheez-Its. Please, please tell this crazy bitch and her kid that I'm just trying to get my Cheez-Its. And he says, Guy, just leave it alone. Guy, just, just, just forget it. And I say, no. I say, no, Chief, I can't forget it. It's not even about the goddamn Cheez-Its anymore. It's about the principle of the matter. It's about the fact that this kid owes me something and he's not giving it to me. And he says, Guy, just leave right now or you're fired. So I hang up on him. And then I start to smell just a little, just a little whiff of weed on the mom. Just, just a little bit. And then, and then, and then I start arresting the mom. And so then the kid goes into foster care. And guess who gets two bags of Cheez-Its? Who? Me. I get two bags of Cheez-Its. Two delicious bags of Cheez-Its. And what? It's, it's delicious, right? So I go back to my car. And I go back in, and I, I, I sit in there, and I turn on some Bon Jovi, and I'm, I'm singing while I'm eating the Cheez-Its. I'm singing, oh, we're halfway there, nom, 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 living on a prayer. I'm, just, I'm chugging these Cheez-Its, right? I'm just downing them. I'm pouring them right down my throat, just, ah, like a dinosaur. I'm getting crumbs in my mustache and seat, and I don't even care. And then, in under a minute, I've eaten the entire bag of Cheez-Its. The entire bag? The entire bag. And I start getting sad. And then I remember, I don't have to be sad. You know why? Why? Because I got another bag of Cheez-Its. So I squeeze it. I squeeze it as hard as I can until that bag pops open. And then I just, I uh, just pour them right down my mouth. I just start chugging those cheesy chips. It is delicious. And I'm loving it. And to that day, to this day, that was the best bag of Cheez-Its I have ever had. And I always keep an extra dollar on me, just in case. So yeah, that's the scariest story I know. And I know what you're thinking. I mean, how is a story about Cheez-Its scary? But, you know, you never know what life's gonna give you. One minute you get no bags of Cheez-Its, next minute you get two bags of Cheez-Its, you're in foster care and your mom's in jail. You just never know. And you never want to get between a cop and his Cheez-Its. You know what I mean? Wow, what a crappy sleepover. 
am I going to do tonight? Let's see. Uh, you guys still there? Good. Guys? Well, I guess I'm off duty. Uh, whatever. It's Logan. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I want to say thank you to Nick Tendo. He's the YouTuber who made that six minute animation you just watched, and I can't believe he made it on such a short notice. He's really amazing. Go check out his channel. Go subscribe to him. Go, go, go show my boy some love because he's amazing and he always shows up for me. And I just can't believe he made it on such a short notice. And it, it was an amazing animation. And this video would have been kind of lame without the animation because it would have been Broken Guy talking for six minutes. And I'm sorry the video kind of felt a little rushed, but I had to go out of town, so I needed something quick. And the video turned out really funny to me. I, I love the animation and the story with Broken Guy. But I promise guys, uh, starting uh, the next video, it'll be better. 10 minute videos, everything will be good. Um, but I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Answer the SML question. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And keep watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.